God, how many out there in the church of Jesus Christ, raise your hands, ah, say amen if you want to turn your world upside down. Now listen to me, we may never get on an airplane and travel all over the world and minister this gospel, but your world is your sphere of influence. They say every person has a sphere of influence. Some of its lot, some people has a larger sphere of influence. But it says first Judea, first Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and then the ends of the earth. Now Jerusalem is where you live, your neighbors, those that are in the closest proximity to you, that you see people. Maybe daily, maybe weekly, bi-weekly, several times a month. That's your sphere. That's your mission ground. You're a missionary to the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't have to get on an airplane and go to a far land to be a missionary. Now, if you want to be one of the ones that turn your world, not the world, your world, that God's entrusted to you, God may call you to reach your neighbor. God may call you to reach your neighbors, hallelujah. You may never have a media ministry. That's okay. You, What God's entrusted you with, you be faithful. Listen, the Lord's not looking for us to be successful. He's looking for us to be faithful. God's not looking for you and me to be the best. He's looking for us to be the best we can be. All we are called to do is respond to the calling and fulfill it. If we can't, we can't fulfill anyone else's shoes if they don't fit us. Well, whatever. It's a whole other show now. You want to reach your sphere. Hit the amen button, the like button, the thumbs up. Also in the comments, tell me the ministry you're called to and for. You know, works is in the Bible, guys. There's the book of life and the book of works. It's just that it's God has not called us to trust him more, to have the trust in works, but he has called us to have works. There's the book of life and the book of works. I think sometimes in the Christian camp, we make too light of works or the works of Christ. And, you know, I don't go out of my way to do anything. God, A, hasn't called me to, or B, that which he hasn't entrusted me to. So I only look for the good, the God. The God ideas, not the good ideas. I don't want to be birthing Ishmael's or God ideas. I want to move in the anointing that he's called me to display on the earth. Now, if you're new, it would be an honor. Please subscribe. Also, I'm live Mondays, 9 p.m. on YouTube, live stream YouTube, Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Zoom, the ID, 513-302. 8285 Acts chapter 4 verse 13 when they saw or they noticed the boldness of Peter and John Peter was just this was Peter who was just cursing Jesus the end of the book of John roosters were crowing he denied the Christ this was Peter tried to chop the soldier in half and he sort of went like that and he missed and he Cut his ear off, and Jesus had to take the ear off the ground and put it back on the dude's head. Peter wasn't aiming for his ear, guys. He was going to slice that guy in half. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled. But now listen to this. And they realized that they had been with Jesus. Guys, Jesus makes anyone look good. When you're with Jesus, you can put on, you can be like a superhero. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's a power, there's an anointing, there's a mantle. Now listen to this, Acts 17 and verse 6. But when they did not find them, they dragged Jason, some rulers out to this city crying, these who have turned the world upside down. These regular, untrained, uneducated men, you don't have to go to Bible school. You don't have to sit in a local church for 20, 30 years. Now, obviously, we should always be willing to be groomed. Our lives should be submitted to some good local five-fold ministries, pastors, local churches. 
But guys, Jesus said, go. The anointing is in the go. He said, go ye into all the world. You have a ministry. Someone just says, I'm not a minister. Come on. If you're born again and washed in the blood, you are a minister of the Lord. All believers are ministers. All believers are evangelists. We're all called to catch the fish, guys. We're all called to win souls. Go preach Jesus. Now, if you can just start off by saying God loves you, God bless you, or hand people gospel tracts, don't despise the day of a small thing. Start with your neighbors, your friends, and just start to share the gospel with them. You can do it. Come on. You can turn your world upside down for the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. Amen.